The probe into the Choi Sun Shui case is gathering pace. Our Lee Min Young reports on the latest developments. Seoul Central District Court issued an arrest warrant for Choi Sun Shui, the woman at the center of the affair, late Thursday night. Her arrest comes four days after she first appeared for questioning by prosecutors. She was booked on two criminal charges: attempted fraud and being a joint principal offender with top presidential aide An Jung Bom in a crime of abuse of official authority. During the court hearing, there was an intense back and forth over whether Tre was an accomplice to An in the crime of abusing official authority. But the court accepted the prosecution's logic that Tre conspired with An to pressure conglomerates into making massive donations to two government-linked foundations, and then funneling funds into a paper company for her own benefit. An arrest warrant is likely to be requested for An, the former presidential secretary for policy coordination, on Friday, before the 48-hour emergency detention period runs out. Prosecutors placed An under detention without a warrant on Wednesday night to prevent a destruction of evidence. An is suspected of coercing local corporations into donating huge amounts of money to two foundations that Choi Sun Shil is believed to have established and controlled. The primary focus of the investigation into An will be to determine whether President Park also played a role in setting up or running the two foundations. Prosecutors say the investigation into the case will continue for another 20 days, and they will move to charge Tre with other criminal offenses, including embezzlement, accessing presidential documents without clearance, and garnering preferential treatment for a daughter during her time at Ewha Women's University. Meanwhile, the prosecution also arrested Chung Woo Sung, another former presidential personal secretary, late Thursday night for leaking state secrets. Lee Min Young, Arirang News.